Well, Season 10 did in fact go live earlier this morning, but for anyone that logs in today and starts playing, many changes you were expecting to arrive are not yet in the live game. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and thanks to a bet from longtime friend and fellow content creator Bishop, a link to his Twitch channel in my video description below, I somehow got talked into reinstalling the Division 2 for the price of power manhunts. More on this to follow later in this commentary. I'll talk about the performance of the game, the changes we did not see, and a lot more as I go through this final mission of the Trig Manhunt target, kind of in a live comm format. Thanks to your continued support, the channel is now under 1,000 subscribers to go until we hit that fat 100k. If you haven't already, smash that sub button and ring the bell to receive all my future upload alerts. Let's go. Okay, on today's episode, Buzz shows you how to be a noob. <laughs> Class version 101. I have forgotten how in the hell do you start these uh, final manhunt missions. Wait a second. Is this it? Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Jesus. I am such a noob. All right, there we go. There's Trig, the final manhunt target. I've been out of this, I guess, for a while. I thought maybe I could just run over to Jefferson Plaza and kick it off. But here we go. Going through this all manhunt uh, solo, heroic difficulty. Uh, I'll talk about the build in a little bit, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's down here. I always loved Jefferson Plaza, too. So there we go. Matthias Trigg Schneider. I read his backstory. Uh, he's from Denmark, and apparently uh, pretty close to a rocket scientist. So this ought to be interesting. Got the old skill build on here. Uh, basics of this, uh, I haven't really upgraded anything. Uh, we got a couple pieces of Hana Yu. Let me toss this out here. A couple pieces of Empress International. I think... Let me look at the icons. Yeah, it's uh, combined arms and kinetic momentum. Um, I upgraded about half the gear pieces prior to this final mission. So they were at uh, proficient. I just needed to upgrade them. So I think half my gear is either at proficient. Some of it's at level one. And I believe the capacitor um, assault rifle I'm using right here. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and shoot. I think I upgraded that from proficient up to level one. This guy is trying to rage me here on the side. I can definitely, I feel a little, ooh, shred my armor. I feel, whoa, really shredded my armor. I feel a little underpowered uh, compared to these guys on heroic. So I don't know if that's just my time away from the game. I messed with that grenade. Maybe it's the fact that I haven't upgraded my gear completely up. I honestly couldn't tell you. I hate hearing those grenade launchers as well. So here we go. Manhunt targets. So, like I said in the intro, Bishop kind of, uh, he was concerned. He, you know, he knows that I love this game. I, I love the franchise. I love kind of the whole backstory, the lore, the whole thing. And I've really struggled finding any motivation to play it in fact i had it uninstalled there for weeks just because of the pc crashing issue um i'll tell you up to this point and what am i at let me look over the recorder here i'm up a little over an hour of just continuous recordings i have not crashed now let me amend that statement technically i have not crashed no i haven't had it where it jumps out to um a windowed mode and then it just freezes I haven't gone into a hard freeze so technically yes that's all gone I will tell you that several times especially when I'm in menus over in the boo and I come in and out of like uh, inventory and stuff like that I drop down into single frame rate so it feels like it's about to crash but at the last second it seems to catch itself and and hook back up and then the frame rate will jump back up you can't see it on the screen but I've actually got my recording software going so I can see it and I limit the recording to 60 FPS. Um, if it, you know, if the game used to, it used to, uh, let me amend this. I used to be able to play it. Let me throw that right there. 
Um, I used to be able to play the game at 120 FPS, or at least that's what I had it set to. Sometimes it couldn't hold at 120 FPS, um, and that's in 4K, pretty much all ultra settings. Now I have to limit it to 60 because if I go up and I attempt to go to 120, it just it's so much lower than 120. Uh, the recordings actually suffer. Let me see if I can throw a grenade in here. See that guy on the right? It's my only concern here when I've got the skills out in front of me. So it, it holds at 60, but let me amend these statements. We got these chunguses down there. I will tell you that uh, based on the, the, the three major bits of hardware that I have in my rig, first off, I've got an AMD Threadripper Pro 3975WX. Come on, drop this guy. Uh, that is, I believe it's a 32 core, 64 thread processor. I do not have it overclocked. It's plenty capable in its own right. I uh, have 256 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAM. I think running at about 32 megahertz. And then I also have a uh, GeForce RTX 3090 uh, GPU. Excuse me, but I say CPU. I hate these backragers. There we got them. So my rig is stout. And you're asking, why in the hell would you have all that equipment, Buzz? And the question is because I do massive 4k renders at very dense uh, bit rates uh, do some after effects work as well and anyone that's been in after effects if you don't have enough ram you know how that goes so uh, i can produce uh, what i need to very quickly anyway let me explain how ooh, please ump 45 those are hard to find um let me explain how the game runs it runs but it feels like it's in a constant conflict with itself and I'll try to, uh, I guess, elaborate a little bit for you. It, it feels like part of the game is designed to go at 200 miles per hour, and the other part is speed capped at 60 miles an hour. And maybe you can understand that. So you, you've got a Ferrari, but it's, you know, and in one sense it's a Ferrari, but on the other side it's, it's limited to 60. And that's what the game feels like. It feels sluggish to me, like it's it's in a constant battle with itself. Movements are slow. This game used to run, by the way, very crisp uh, prior to... By the way, you see my special uh, specialization weapon is missing? See the rockets? <laughs> oh my god. Look at the left side of my backpack. I just got, I've got the mini-missile sitting there. Oh jeez, this game sometimes. Um, the game used to run super smooth. Super smooth. Um, whatever frame rate you wanted to run it at, 4K resolutions, it was just rock steady. Ever since Season 9 went live, um, it is not run that way. Uh, it gets janky, it gets bogged down, and like I said, I think the code is in, in constant conflict with itself. Um, it feels almost like the fix that they did, and I'm just using layman's terms, um, I'm trying to find the resources here. It feels like what they did is they throttled back the performance of the game because maybe it was spiking in certain areas and then that was causing the crashing. I don't know. I'm not a programmer, but it feels it feels clunky to me. It feels slow. So maybe that'll explain it to you. I can't believe my specialization weapon's actually just totally miss missing. Excuse me. Uh, so anyway, that's how it's running. Um, in this entire session... Knock on wood, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm playing the game, but knock on wood, we don't like crash out at the final bit of this manhunt. That would be bad. I don't know if this is it right here. It's a bunch of black tusk here. Uh, but it just, like I said, it feels slow. It feels like it, it's it's under the strain of the of the constraints of the code. And I'll stop with it right there. It It's not something that I would want to consistently play like this. Like I would definitely not want to play uh, legendary strongholds or anything like that the way the game feels to me it may look great to you in 4k and high bit rates and stuff like that but I'm just saying for anyone that's out there on console imagine you you press forwards on your controller and there's a delay almost like you're on a laggy server um, that's kind of how it feels to me anyway this is really popping off here there's stuff going everywhere ow that's not good. Ooh, I gotta get that thing right there. Definitely don't want him to res anybody. There we go. Let me switch up the positions here. Yeah, it's definitely popping off here. I don't know if the manhunt target's gonna show up here, but jeez, there's bullets going everywhere. Uh, 
Uh, I've got a few other topics on my uh, top of my head too that I want to talk about on the tip of my tongue, but um, let me get a little bit out of this sweaty combat. As you can see, my armor bars, I definitely do not have a lot. Even that one, one little airburst grenade they hit me with basically ripped all my armor off. This is completely just all skill tier build here. It's all skill damage, skill haste. Great build uh, for running solo. Are they up top? Oh, look at them, and they've got a, a med station too. What a nuisance. Uh-oh, there's one. There was an example of it running slow. You, oh my god. You can't see my, you can't see my movements, but I'm moving prior to that, and it just it reacts slow. Um, so anyway, if there's a developer watching, maybe you can, you can tighten this up, please. Uh, it just feels like I'm in molasses constantly. It feels like my PC is in molasses too. So uh, when I first logged in this morning, I tried to, jeez, these guys, these airbursts. I tried to get the hunter, the stinger hunter outfit. It was not in the cosmetic store. Um, I looked everywhere for it. Um, I even went over to where the little, the hunter, um, I don't know, the, the cash is and the boo. Obviously, it's not there. Uh, I posted over on Twitter and got some responses, and apparently that, according to the team, is not available yet. Now, there is some con conflicting information. The way it was kind of presented yesterday on their, on their special report, and I'm talking between Daria and Yannick, is that it would be ready... Uh, season 10, which we're in right now, uh, TU-16, which is what we got today, or it may be at the latest 16.1, uh, which is where they're talking about doing the scrap now trap changes. I received a private DM from somebody else that read it or received some information that they said season 12, which is like six months away. I want to throw this up top. So, unfortunately, you cannot get it right now, which is a damn shame. I would have greatly appreciated um, actually recording this wearing that Hunter outfit. So, if anyone hears anything different, maybe you can post it in the comment section. Is that the final guy over there? Okay, I can go this way. Um, but anyway, yeah, that Hunter outfit is not yet available. I don't know if it's 16.1. I don't know if it's season 11. I don't know if it's like this private message we got season 12 that would be I, I don't understand why a hunter outfit would take six months to put into the game uh, maybe it was I don't know rigged or wireframed or whatever for a previous version of the engine I couldn't tell you but it's not in the game Picaro's holster which I've already gotten uh, is incorrect it's still like the old uh, TU version and I know Strikers Battle Gear is as well. So it almost feels like, and I'm just making this up, there's no confirmation, but they took TU-16 PTS Phase 2. Sorry, I'm in the middle of it here. Whoa. God. And it's like that's what they uploaded to the live game, but their intentions were to change it over to something else. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. It's, it feels like the TU versions or the PTS versions are what are in the live game, but they're not supposed to be. Uh, and also, I, I received already a message, and um, I just want to clarify this. The shrapnel traps for PvP are were never... Oh, damn. Don't hit me. Ooh. Oh. It's like that Bon Jovi song. We're living on a prayer. Jeez. Those guys hit hard. I'm over here talking about PvP stuff, not paying attention. Shrapnel traps, uh, I know we're supposed to be in 16.1. I remember uh, Yannick saying that. So, if you were planning those traps to be out, uh, the trap changes to be in TU-16, which went live today, they are not. But, yeah, the... Oh, God. Damn. I'm trying to move more, and it just doesn't let me. Once again, it feels sluggish. I'm down to one. I can wrap once more, but I see one out there. Maybe I'll leave that one. This feels like to me is where I'm probably going to end up fighting the boss. So yeah, performance um, for me at least with that that mega rig that I have, uh, it is holding. It feels sluggish. It feels slow. It feels uh, very very heavily weighted. Like like my controls are almost uh, dipped in in syrup. Um, 
And there's been many times, uh, I, I, maybe not many times, maybe five or less, <clears throat> uh, that I've been in a menu, excuse me, and I've dropped out of a menu and it's it tries to change the field of view or something and I've dropped down into single frame rates. Like it's just about to crash, but then it pulls itself back. Um, but like I said, it may look great to you on your screens, the way I feel right now playing the game, it does not feel great. Like, I would definitely not want to do a legendary stronghold like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get rid of that. I need to get this turret out. I got an idea. How about on the statue's head? There we go. Clear vantage point. Now we've got my weapon, the drone, and... Did he just say, watch your head? Okay. All right, so here's the final battle. Here's Trig. Let's see if I can fan out the rest of his troops and we'll go right at Trig by himself, see if he's got any special mechanics. One thing I was kind of disappointed to see, and maybe if you're watching this video, you can confirm it for me as well, but the two legendary strongholds, Tidal Basin and Manning National Zoo, have no specialty cosmetics nothing you can accumulate nada for completing the missions how did they throw that through the roof and it came down below me come on game uh so there's nothing there like in the past when we did those missions uh like roosevelt and things like that on legendary we got pieces of the white tusk apparel which obviously you see me wearing right now but there's matthias trig right there uh there's nothing to accumulate why would i do an hour and a half mission super sweaty mission all right, let's go at Trig right now. But why would I do it and not get anything? Hopefully they can put some sort of specialty cosmetics or a specialty weapon or something in there. Dude, let's go right at him. Face tank him. Here we go. Wow, he got melted. Owned him. All right, so there you go. Hmm. So the final battle wasn't really that difficult at all. Game does feel sluggish though. I mean, look at my, my specialized weapon still just completely missing off my back. It's just rockets. Mm. So yeah, uh, Picaro's holster is different. Striker's battle gear is different. Uh, shrapnel traps, expect those in 16.1. Um, Hunter apparel, nowhere to be found. I'd like to get an answer on that. Legendary missions are offering up zero extra cosmetics and stuff, zero incentives. But hey, at least for me, the game is played all the way through. It has not crashed, and that is such a victory for me right now. So I'm actually able to play the game in the series that um, I've been playing since 2016. So positive news there. I'll probably end here, jump over to an outro. I appreciate your time today. So there you go, the final target, Trig, and I look forward to your questions and feedback in the comments section below. Remember, if you haven't yet done so, please smash that sub button for more intensive Division content, and of course, ring the bell to receive all my future upload alerts. If you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Remember, you can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over on my community Discord server. Links to all my socials can be found in the video description below, and of course, the pinned comments. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.